certainly not mansplaining. Um, I, I've never really considered myself to have a role. I think the problem is the, the message is sent simultaneously in a way that some men, I think even men of good faith, have found frustrating. There's this unfair expectation that we need to have it perfect like that, and none of us are perfect. I don't know what I should be doing. I'm, I'm worried that something I might do might add fuel to the fire. We just want to blame each other all the time. Why don't we actually spend time actually understanding that we can get better together if we just have these conversations. Everyone's worried of uh, you know, saying the wrong thing or getting into the wrong place. I think what we really need to focus on is how men can be uh, partners and allies in making this change. I think we need to get out uh, in front of it with the women and say, look, we're not all monsters. My wife is very active um, in those sorts of things and I want to support her, but it's not about uh, men's voices. I think it's understanding what, what's appropriate to do in the moment. Sometimes speaking up more is necessary and, and sometimes you just have to shut up and listen. Listening is the number one thing that everyone needs to learn how to do. I mean, we talk too much. <laughs> I think it's not a moment or a day of our reckoning as men, but it can be a day of our awakening. Women and, and femmes have done the work uh, literally forever. In a space where women are sort of trying to express what an experience felt like, um, that's a good space for, for men to sort of take a step back and say, I don't know what it's like to live in that body, to experience that experience. But then being active with that listening, so afterwards it's taking action on what you've heard. They shouldn't be speaking for the movement, but they should be doing all the work, it's their problem. If you really sit down and listen, and, and, and understand and empathize, uh, that's when you can truly understand, you can act, and you can be a champion for people that are less fortunate or marginalized. But then it's uh, figuring out and asking what we can do uh, of the women in our lives and the women in society. And once you have a true understanding of the situation, then you support, then you speak up, then you say, it's not okay. I've been in rooms where it's all men, and so have so many of the other men watching. Uh, the jokes that get said, uh, the comments that just sort of are thrown out uh, without being challenged. That's a space where men don't, like it's not good that they're quiet. They also need to, when they see it happening, report it themselves, not leaving it up to the woman. To use our positions of privilege or positions of power, if we have them, uh, to help make change. When a woman uh, in a hostile or, or, or negative environment uh, speaks up and says, that's not okay, um, it's an important moment. But when a, a, a man or a handful of men around her stand beside her and say, that's right, that's not okay, the individual or the organization that is perpetuating that imbalance, uh, like it or not, will, because of this system, put more weight to it when there are men standing with that women. And it's unfair and it's wrong and you know, the woman's voice should be enough, but we're not at that place yet. I don't think you need to make a scene necessarily, but send a message to the person who is committing the, uh, the unfortunate acts to stop, but also send a message to the woman who's receiving them that someone else has seen it. The only way to correct people is to educate people. We overthink this. Every man should be a good person. It starts from being a good person. I think guys just need to be honest with themselves, you know? Do a, do a self audit. Any man who doesn't um, is, I think, hiding from the truth. Would you want your daughter, would you want your sister, would you want your mother treated that way? Done, those things done to them? You wouldn't. You don't need to write an article about it. You just need to start paying attention in your own life. Compassion without action is just observation. Be a good person.